Lund, a small university town in southern Sweden, and one of the world's top addresses for research on the fastest processes in nature using light. I'm very happy. I think I picked the right uh, profession. I, I like research very much, and I, I like uh, teaching also very much. The French physicist has been working here for almost 30 years. My name is uh, Anne Lullier. I am a physicist. My area of research is uh, attosecond physics through high-order harmonic generation. Anne Lullier played a decisive role in the discovery of this unique source of light that will revolutionize our understanding of atomic processes. It's very much like when you play music, you uh, play a violin, for example, and uh, when you, you have a sound, it's never a pure note, it's a note plus harmonics. And here, the light in, in this gas, you, you have these high-order harmonics that are generated. High-order harmonics are generated when you focus a laser into a gas, and um, then there is a strong laser um, atom interaction. And in the time domain, these uh, high order harmonics form a train of uh, very, very short light pulse in the attosecond regime. A single cycle laser pulse in the visible range has a duration of several femtoseconds. To open the door to attosecond physics, scientists have found a way to generate, measure, and apply even shorter pulses with a much shorter wavelength. This has proven to be a completely new approach to the world of atomic physics. Lasers uh, mean a lot to me. Uh, lasers have been uh, my tool during more than 30 years. You have a laser behind me. And then uh, here you generate the uh, high order harmonics in this chamber. The light flashes comprise a single powerful coherent wave. When they are fired at the atoms of noble gases, electrons are split off. We send these harmonics, there is a mirror here, into this uh, application chamber. And here we look at the photoionization of, of gases using the high harmonics. Anne Lillier is one of the most distinguished scientists worldwide. For years, she was a member of the Nobel Committee for Physics. Her work is of fundamental importance, opening doors that she has been one of the first to pass through. Oh, it's a very creative endeavor. This is what research is about. You need to have new ideas to understand things, new ideas to test new uh, experiments. The modest scientist is actually a bit proud when looking back at the discovery of high harmonics. The first experiment was uh, 35 years ago, <laughs> and the aim was not to look at high harmonics, but to uh, look at the fluorescence uh, from the medium and to, to be able to look at which kind of excited states we would produce. And instead of this fluorescence light, we, we saw this high order harmonics, which was a, a surprise and a very nice surprise. It was great. It was an absolutely great feeling. I remember it. And, and uh, later on, I actually have been working with this process uh, my, my whole career, or almost. More than a decade would pass before it was possible to generate the first isolated attosecond pulse in an experiment. One of the interests is that the light consists of a sequence of very, very short light pulses in the attosecond range, so very, very short light pulses. So one attosecond is one billionth of a billionth of a second, so it's very, very short. A number with 18 decimal places after the decimal. We need attoseconds to look at very, very fast processes in, in nature, a little bit like uh, the flash, uh, like a camera. If you want to, uh, to see a fast motion, you need uh, short exposure time. This is the same, but uh, to look at uh, the microcosmos, we want to have light flashes, which are very, very short in time. This enables insights into the quantum world that were not possible before. So these pulses are used to really try to uh, follow and control electron motion in atoms and molecules. So there could be application in, for example, in chemistry and to try to control the beginning of chemical reaction. By gaining a better understanding of how molecules interact, this could lead to the development of new medicines. 
And then there is another, a little bit new application coming up. This really application now of the high order harmonics, just broadband coherent radiation in the extreme ultraviolet range. This is of interest for the semiconductor industry for imaging smaller structures. The future of quantum information science. Anulier's fascination with mathematics and the sciences began when she was still at school. I watched the landing on, on the moon in 1969, uh, and this impressed me very much as, as a little girl. It was the science behind that uh, Meinkern was able to send the man on, on so far away and, and uh, to watch uh, them walking on the moon. I uh, was being uh, waken up by my grandmother to, to see that. And th this was uh, really uh, very imp impressive. I liked it very much. Women and science, is there still a disparity? I agree, uh, there is absolutely a, a lack of women in, in, uh, in science, in physics and, and uh, technical sciences. Um, I wish I knew why. <laughs> I wish there were more girls studying uh, physics, uh, mathematics, uh, engineering sciences. So uh, I hope I can inspire more, more women to, uh, to try to do research in, in, in yeah. physics, in lasers. Just try and uh, go for it. This is my message. <laughs>